right, well, they may be the benefits that Michelle's describing there, Keith, but uh, from a planning point of view and a blight on the seascape point of view, are you up for offshore wind zones? Maybe would they be more attractive if you just move them further offshore? I think we've got to be consistent on this. I mean, if, if I come on a show like this and say, well, not in my backyard for uh, wind, but, but then don't accept that that's an issue for small modular reactors, then it's inconsistent. So of course you need a social license for any form of energy, whether it's wind or small modular reactors. And we are a big nation and we, we've done planning and we can consult with communities and do this well, but the government needs to be consistent. They're using that line to rubbish small modular reactors to say, oh, well, would you want one in your backyard? You can't say that for one energy source that, you know, you, you think is politically convenient and the other one you say nothing about it. Mm. But we need to be clever about where and how we have a diversity of energy sources and everything should be on the table.